Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Banished. Okay, so how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing extremely good because I always, I'm all, when I when I um, get asked to clean my room, I'm always like, oh, I don't really want to. It's like it's kind of annoying. It's kind of, it just takes time really more than anything. However, when I finally do it, I'm like, oh my god, it's so amazing. I mean, while I'm here, it's like, oh no, Matt. Wait, what? No, Matt. Nomads. Uh, there are five nomads. Sure. Hopefully the laborers. If they are, then that's good. They need houses. So I assume they're just gonna go in houses. Randy houses. I need to build houses. If that's the case. So, this is my first time also um, of having nomads. living in my city so I assume that they're either just gonna live with people just live with families or that I, I built two houses there might be a family actually that's not very good um, I assume they're just gonna live with families or start killing people because I've heard that they either like steal or kill people or uh, that there, this is like the the negative things about them are that they just simply, they just come in too large of a quantity, like sometimes they come in like uh, quantities of like 30 people. I built two separate houses now, hopefully it is two uh, teenagers that are ready to move out because they seem to have just moved in with random people. A lot of people are dying of old age now, which isn't too good. Only free laborers, not too good either. Um, we need to get some resources going, Zim. We should collect stuff over here. Yeah, let's get people to collect stuff over here. Um, harvest everything. It's, it's mostly trees anyway. I mean, most yeah, mostly trees anyway. I'm also thinking about building bridges across the places soon as well. Because we need more stuff. I'm also thinking about starting to spread uh, spread out the village instead of building houses right next to each other. So then laborers can eventually just spread across, and this whole city could be a lot easier to deal with. I'm also thinking about actually making some tools finally. Come on. So annoying, making uh, like no one's making tools. It's so irritating. But wow. have you ever heard of it? right? A bit of a, a bit of a weird, a bit of a weird. But have you ever heard of this guy called Hey Yorkie? Um, let's check. Um, I want to check on wool, wool inventory, inventory wool. Twenty-five, right? Okay. Um, yeah, there's a guy called Hey Yorkie. I'm actually, might losing like nearly five p. That's not good. Um, guy called Hey Yorkie, right? Pretty, uh, he, oh, he is a chickens. Have we got chickens? Yeah, we have. Uh, dismiss. Um, and he does like FIFA commentary videos, which I might do when FIFA 15 comes out, which I will do actually. I'm going to do a Cambridge United Grey mod. If you're excited about that, then good. Yeah, we'll go do Cambridge United Grey mod. But he, he does a career mod every year that lasts usually around between 200 and 400 parts. And he's a beast. He's just so cool. I, I just like his personality a lot. It just reminds me of like all the people I've ever met, just like bunched into one guy, and that's so cool. I just love that. I don't know why. I just feel it's cool. We got five laborers. Thinking about sticking them on uh, food duty. Thinking about creating another farm. We got fifteen farmers, but that doesn't seem to be good enough. I think a storage barn is the answer to that though. If we I put a storage barn here. For now. <clears throat> so next year we should be able to generate more food because of that in my opinion. Because then they'll come down here, place it there, then laborers will come and take it from the storage barn over to the market, is what I'm sh I'm assuming will happen anyway. Not too sure if it will happen though. I think uh we should stick people on hunting and gathering. Uh for now. Stick one guy in building so he can build the houses and the storage barn. That should take him around a year, I think. So, yeah, that should be okay. We've got 10 people who are being annoying. Let's change that to wool for now. I assume wool. Oh, we're getting a lot of people dying. Frozen to death. Oh my god, why is there so many people dying? Frozen to death. Frozen to death. It's not even cold. I want to be right. We, there's just so many people dying. I can't do anything. What can I do? 
Cannot do anything. Okay, on the bright side, there isn't much of a bright side, but on the bright side, um, there's less people to cater for for food than it looks like. Everyone might die here. Only a few people that are still starving, but still. But no laborers. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, for next year, we're going to be able to gather up some food, which is cool. Let's do that, and then do that. Uh, no. And go in this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. We got, we've still got a lot of people without, uh, I mean, a lot of places without people to work in. Still getting people dying. This one was from old age this time, so that's not that bad. Well, we just lost around, I, I'd say, like 25 of our population if we go in graphs. Look at, look at it, it's just like, zoom. That's fine. Can't really do too much about it. Um, what we can do, though, is start stocking up it, like an immense amount of food. We need to keep farmers going, so we need to lower things that don't involve food. So just stone cutters, just for now, and stick them on farming. Okay. Because farming isn't a big thing until later down the line. We need a trader. Let's get rid of a miner, stick on a trader. Because trader is a huge thing, because we need food as well. If we can get like a bunch of food coming in, that would be fantastic. A lot of people have just been born as well. Wow, there's a lot of people being born. Like, uh, a lot. So it looks like, it's like we're going through a, like a, a cycle of loads of people dying and most people being born. And that's just going to keep on happening. As long as we got this going, which is fine. It works. It's not very well. Um, I'd like to get a few laborers. Um, removing resources around here. Just uh, getting rid of all the resources around here. That would be great. There we go. Um, get rid of a few hmm, foresters. Take them on laboring. Because we're going to need them. That would. Like, insanely a, a lot. Have we got Taylor still? Hopefully. Yeah, we do. Uh, where's the wood being sent to? Okay, so that's working. The tail is there. 16. One farm there. Oh, trading posts. Okay. Whoa. Gonna kinda need some of that. If we get all of that, that's 125. So if we take some of that, that's 120. Stick a bit of stone on, get rid of some more logs. I was trying to find the right price. Right price. If we get rid of some of that on, take some of that off. Do that, that. Um, we can't really win here, so let's do that, I suppose. Dismiss. So, we've got some more stuff. We do have some more wool. We should hopefully make some more coats. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot more people dying, which I think is going to happen anyway. Just because I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. This forest lodge is still working fine. Which is great. However, we need some food. We don't have that much food going into the winter, and people aren't collecting anything. Because this storage man isn't built, and I, f I still feel strong about this being the key thing here to fix this. Yep, all going to start disappearing, and we're not going to have much, if any, food for winter. There's going to be a lot more people um, freezing to death, I think, though. Which is not too great, whether it'll be fine for now, I suppose. I just love the way this game looks. I don't think I've said this before, but this game is made by one guy. If you didn't know Lance, freaking, he's, a, he's an, an epic guy, this guy. I don't know who he is, but yeah. I wonder what if I just played on times one. This is how it would be. 
people would this this is this is like real time i think this is real time so you got to play on 10 times the speed otherwise it's just going to be so boring I assume even though it is real time that the that it wouldn't be just like that it wouldn't take 28 years to get to the year 28 because then I would have done I, I would have played just a game 10 times uh, divided by 10 so I would have played this game 2.8 years to get up to this point which I, I assure you I haven't okay so we got a lot of people working on stuff which is great, obviously. Um, we have no coats. Go. Apparently, coats are being made, but they're not. If that's what, if if that makes any sense. It's kind of weird. We're back up to seventy-five people. We like we like plateau at seventy-five people. We like build up a population, and the others die. But that's fine. Okay. I know it's that. Yeah. Oh, it's frozen to death. Yeah, it's like we're not making enough stuff. We need another woodcutter. I always say this, but I never make it. I'm gonna actually plop one down literally right now. Like right here. I can't. Uh, yeah, and I always go to this point and I'm like, alright, it won't work. Like, there, boom, it's down. It'll be built. And that'd be great. Hopefully, we can generate more food from the storage bank. I, I genuinely think that that is the answer. Um, we need to get one builder going. That's gonna be a thing. The only problem I actually have with uh, people dying is it's not it's not the people dying. I don't mind that because then we have less unless no, unless everyone dies and I don't really have a problem with that. Um, but yeah, I do have a problem with is losing all the laborers because usually the people that die are laborers because they're all going out collecting wood and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. We got one quarter of it built. Just over one quarter of it built. Oh, it's getting up a bit. So if you can hear a stupid dog barking, it's not my dog. I can't do anything about it. My dog doesn't bark. Literally. I think he barks like once every year. On like, on like my brother coming in late or something, which rarely happens. Seriously. Okay. So we can hopefully get a lot of food. Because they're going to go here and that over. Hopefully, speed up things. Six wool coats are there. We've actually got coats in somewhere. Which is great. That might fix stuff. Hopefully, it does. I'm really, I'm really hoping it does. How, all the foresters die as well, I've noticed. Like, all the foresters are like dead by now. We've got one forest left. We had like. I'm pretty sure we had nine at some point. Now we got like next to none. Which is really, really weird, but also annoying. I wonder if we cut down these, we'll get wood. I'm pretty sure we will. We cut them down anyway, it looks like, to generate some more wood. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So this is making stuff, which is great. And uh, storage brand is now up, and we got plenty of venison here for some reason. Of all things, we got venison, which is fine, obviously. I'm not gonna say no. These are barely these are barely grown yet. I wonder if fertilizer is a thing. If it is, then that's cool. I don't know if it is or not. Deer. If you're hungry, you can go kill that deer, but you probably won't. So I got my job farming. I make food, but not the meaty food. No, no, no. Oh, there's also a hunting cabin here actually. And for some reason. It's in, it's in this vicinity. I'm like, why hasn't it got a radius? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's massive. And this guy's like, no, I don't know. Tell you about you. Yeah. Words. Come on. Bro, it's late summer. Grow faster. Seriously, like, not even half of them are grown. Why is this? How many farm? We have 15 farmers now. We did have 14. And out that made much of a distance. This Distance? Difference. Bean seeds. Pumpkin seeds. We already have pumpkin seeds, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, herbs. They might be useful for our health. Corn. I want some. Of. For food. Let's get all of it. 
Um, I know I can just type in, but I don't really want to. 420. Okay. Okay. Let's max out that. Can we get anything else? Not really. Okay, trade that. And we can't really do any other trading. So we've just got quite a bit of food. That'll, that'll do, I suppose. I mean, we could get bean seeds, which is a high variety. But we're going to die soon anyway. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't make it to episode 10. I think we're on episode 8 now, aren't we? Which is further than I thought. I was ready to give up at episode 5, I think. So that's cool. That is swell. Swell. Um, considering, uh, like, half of our videos are, like, 18 minutes long and under. I mean, like, like 18 to, like, 20 minutes long, which is, like, short for me. Um, I do feel like there is a lot less time compared to other series, especially Cooks of Delicious, which, which every video was around a half an hour long, and that made 15 episodes worth. So that was the longest series I'll probably ever do in the game for a while. Because that really made me hate the game, even though this game is, is brilliant. It's a brilliant game. I mean, it's even backed by one of the hardest critics ever, which is uh, Nerdcube, which only likes really bad games, but, and, and Just Cause 2. So, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. He it, like, it, like, Nerdcube makes, like, all games sound bad, apart from bad games, and Euro Truck Simulator 2. They're, like, the two games that I can agree with that are okay. And then it just takes the mick out of, and it's surprising, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, it just takes the mick out of, like, extremely bad games, mm -hmm. because they're easy videos to make for him, because they're easy jokes. Um, but also it takes the mick out of, like, really good games, and I'm like, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Hmm? I don't really understand him. He, he, he makes easy jokes and easy games to get out of, uh, making good content. Mm -hmm. I need to make an easy content instead. It's just really irritating me. Okay, two woodcutters now. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully. I'm actually getting a lot of logs now. Come on, send it wood. He needs the wood. Okay. Only one freezing guy. Okay. Let me see what a farm died for. Old age right here. So, not too bad. Not too bad episode today. Sorry for me going on a little rant about Nerdcube. That I, look, I, like, I like his videos because he makes easy videos. So it's like, you know, it's kind of something to watch. It's funny because, you know, it's not hard to make a video funny when you're playing bad games. But I only play good games. That I feel like I can I can make a series out of. Obviously, I overestimate Cooks are Delicious. Cooks are delicious, delicious are good, but not... Not... Um, seven and a half hours worth of constant talking over it. Overall I played uh, 13 hours of the game. Um, I, if I played 13 hours of the game and not talked I probably could have played like up to 25 hours, 24 hours. Which is pretty decent for a game where you just you, you just tap what it says on the screen. It's basically like it's basically like uh, what Stanley has in the Stanley Parable. Like that job. Yeah it's just somehow so addicting and enticing. So yeah. Oh. I wonder how many of them I miss. Uh, you sure? Let's get some venison. 125. If we can afford that. Uh, 325. Can we afford that? Um, I don't think so. Uh, we can ask for some stuff. Let's uh, desire. What do you desire? Um, what do we desire? Let's, let's desire some more logs. Not very many, obviously. Um, Oh, let's move that on to about 60. In fact, let's desire. Let's get those to 220 quickly. Quickly. Is that 220 yet? No. Anybody? Is it going to go up? No. Okay. Oh. oh. He gave me two logs. He literally just gave me two logs. Uh, we got 11 laborers now. Oh, let's just freaking dismiss this guy then. I don't really care, dismiss. Okay. Let's move that, uh, let's move, move all these desires down to like really low. Like nothing, so they can get all the logs back. If that works, then ha I've been a fool. Yeah, they just take the logs back, which is great. Hey, it's bomb. 
A is born. Oh, beautiful. Um, let's tell them to collect all these logs over here, well, everything over here, then, all these labourers. I'm, I'm going to use all these labourers while we got them. Collect everything from, like, down here as well. Go work, people with no tools. Go collect me stuff. And as soon as I've got them to get all this wood, then I'll put them on, like, stone cutter and stuff eventually. But, yeah. Come on, grow! It's late summer! We never get any food from these farms. Never. It's really irritating me. These better get sent straight to the storage barn. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Like, ever. Or at all. It's probably something to do with the paths. I pro I've done the paths wrong. I know I've done the paths wrong, but it's probably something to do with the paths. We've got one farmer here. We've got a farmer. Four farmers. Six farmers. Eight farmers. Eight farmers live right next to the farm and right next to the storage barn. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make up an excuse for them, but there's literally no excuse. Um, they've got like a good thing going here. I mean, not everything's grown yet and they're already harvesting stuff, which is okay. Um, but they're not being sent straight to the, or the ass being sent straight to the storage barn. Never mind. So they might actually do well this year, maybe. I'm not sure. But it, uh, at this per at this moment in time, at this exact moment in time, it looks like it's going to be difficult. Also, um, I was going to give the benefit of the doubt to do with uh, stuff like me playing on hard and harsh. Therefore, like the weather being extremely bad, so like late autumn, sometimes it can start snowing and then it get rid of all the crops, which is okay um, and annoying, obviously. But you know, what you gotta do. Um, hopefully, no one will really get hungry. Okay, it looks like they're going in and they're going straight back out. So it looks like uh, they're getting sent to straight straight to even the market of houses, which is pretty good, I suppose. Um, we're clearing up to this market. Maybe, maybe we need to put another market down, like like here. This can be like a farmer's market, I suppose. Even though there's a farm up there as well. But that, that's been there since like, the beginning. We, it doesn't really discount it for not being a farm, but I'm just saying. Um, so maybe another market. Um, hmm. Markets, I don't know, here. That's pretty decent. There. That might help the food as well. I'm not actually too sure about that one though. Just, just, just hitting the mess, shot in the dark. So yeah, another short episode, guys. But guys, but I really want to be carrying on playing uh, Aperture Tag um, because I'm really enjoying that series and more. Make sure to go check it out. So right, guys, thank you for watching. Go over and just subscribe and stuff. Been awesome. Hopefully, see you next one. Goodbye.